monthly favorites. See, let's just get right into it, okay? All right, so these days for my brows, um, there are days like, okay, because you guys know where I work. I'm not going to say so. Um, you know, I've been where I've been freelancing lately quite often. Um, so there are days when I have to not care about my brows because to be honest with you, y'all know how much, I, how, like, how how important my brows are to me okay you guys know they are dear to my heart okay but here's the thing every day I go to work they have to be on point like on point I mean we have a brow bar so you know it's not like we're kind of like silently promoting it you know what I'm saying so my brows have to look good if I want my clients brows to look good you know so on my off days I just don't give a shit you know what I'm saying? Like, to be honest with you, I just don't care anymore. I don't care about if my brows look defined. I don't even care if they're filled in. Like, if you look at them today, they're just filled in with a, just a little bit of brow powder because I just don't, I don't even be caring. Um, so, I have my NYX brow kit. You guys know that's like my holy grail ever brow stuff. Um, I love it to death. My next favorite down to that would be the Benefit Browsings and Dark um, that kit's a little bit more pricey, so I don't use it as often. It's in my kit, um, and I have, I have it like just for myself, um, but I don't use it that often. So I've been looking for alternatives. Okay, you guys know that I purchased. Well, you know if you watched the haul video, okay, and if you didn't, you're slipping. Anywho, I bought the brow kit um, in dark. Um, I bought two of these. Um, can you see? Yes, you can. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wanted to fuck around real quick. I'm just messing with you. Um, I have them in all three colors. So dark, medium, and light. Um, I have them for my kit. Like for my, you know, freelancing kit and whatnot. But I wanted one for myself, of course. Mm -hmm. The thing I don't get about this is, like, for dark, it's really not that dark. Um, I wish I had the medium one to show you guys because the medium one is damn near the same. It's kind of frustrating. So this is the dark one. Okay, this side is the powder and this side is the wax. The wax is nice and dark. Um, it's not as pigmented as the, the Benefit one, but it's nice and dark. And then the powder, to me, is just like a medium brown. But, you know, it's not like extremely dark to me. Um, but when you put them together, it's pretty nice. Um, the only thing I don't like... See, look, when I swatch it, you can barely even tell. Like, that's not dark powder to me. If I were to compare that to my dark brown NYX powder, you would look at me and be like, what? <laughs> like, they're not even the same. Um, so on my off days, like today, I'm just wearing the powder part. I just kind of filled in a little bit in the sparse areas. Um, there are also days when I just use just the wax if I want just a little bit more definition and still filled in. Um, for some reason, though, when I use them together... It doesn't look as nice. Like, it's not as sharp. It's not as defined. It's a little bit too soft on the edges. Like, I don't really care for it. No matter what brush I use, it's still the same. Um, but when I use the Benefit one, it doesn't do that. So, I don't know. I guess it really just depends. But, um, the Benefit one comes with a colored wax and a brow powder. And I think it's just the pigmentation that I like better. Because this one, the powder is just really light. But when I mix this dark one with, like, um, my NYX Brow Cake powder, it's really super nice and defined. But I do like this one. Um, I like it for my off days, like my lazy days. So, I mean, it's it's a hype and a gripe. I love it, but it's just not the best. I mean, for $3, what you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Boop. Oh, shit. Fail. <laughs> Kehlani looked at me like, uh, I think you broke that, mommy. <laughs> um, another thing I've been liking for my brows is Max Espresso. Um, I used to only use this on clients that had like more browner hair. Um, I used to love Espresso and Brune um, eyeshadows from MAC. I don't know. This one is just too too brown for me. It's slightly darker than the NYX Brow Powder, though. The, uh, not the NYX Brow Powder. The, um, oh, the e.l.f. Brow Kit. Um, so it's darker, which I like. These two work very well together, like the, um, the dark wax from the e.l.f. Kit and the Espresso eyeshadow. Works very nice together. Um, but on my brows, it's just all right. I don't know, it's a little too brown for me. I don't know. <laughs> like, it's a little bit warm. Like, my dark brown NYX powder is really, really dark brown. It's like brown black, pretty much. And I guess that's why I like it, because my hair is black, yo. Like, I've never dyed it before in my life, and the hair on my brows is black. So when I use brow powder that's too brown, it doesn't look that nice. When I use Brune, I wish I could show you that, show that to you guys. I like it better because it has a little bit of gray in it, so I guess it mixes better with the the black in my brows. So I like those for like softer days. You know, I guess it really just depends on the makeup look I'm doing. Um, but 
I don't know. I don't really care for this one for brows. It works on a lot of other people, though, which is funny. Like, it works on a ton of my clients, and it works on a lot of my homegirls. It works on a lot of people on YouTube, <laughs> but it just doesn't work for me. I don't know. I just, I can't do it. Oh, next e.l.f. thing I'm loving. I've had this for a while. This is the Bronze and uh, Blush Duo. Yeah, Blushed Bronze Duo. That's basically what it is. It's like a fake dupe for um, the NARS Laguna and Orgasm, but they look nothing alike, if you ask me. They're very comparable, though, so I'm not going to be like, oh, you know, it's not the same. They're very comparable. Um, this is what the blush part looks like. It's very much like a peachy pink with a little bit of gold. I adore the color. It is nothing to me like NARS Orgasm though. That's just me. On me, it doesn't look like that. But it's a nice blush to begin with. Like I adore that blush because it's a little bit more peachy to me than Orgasm is. Um, the contour part I, I like, or well, I use it for a contour. And it's the, the bronzing part. Um, I don't really use it as a bronzer. It's a little bit dark for me for a bronzer. But I like it for contouring a little bit. So on the days that I contour a little harsher, um, I like this one a little bit better than Blunt. Um, this one has a slight shimmer to it, like just a tad. Um, next e.l.f. product. This one's kind of a gripe for me. Um, this one is the Cream Eyeliner in Black. You guys can see. I'm not even going to bother showing you guys. It just says black. That's all it says. And this is the Cream Liner. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell how dry this mug is. Um, I had mentioned in my e.l.f. haul that I do like it. Because I bought the teal one. I think it's called like teal, teal teas or something like that. Um, I do like it. I do. The thing is, it's a little bit dry. I gotta work a little bit with it. So what I do to make it work is I kind of dampen my brush a little bit with Max Fix Plus. It kind of acts as a little bit of a, you know, not mixer, but it, it like a liquid trans forming thing. <laughs> um, I don't know how to describe that. Um, if you guys have ever tried the Bare Essentials, um, they have like this, oh, I don't know what it's called. It's like this liquid thing, this transforming liquid. Okay, I forget what it's called. Um, basically, you put a few drops in it and then you you know, kind of mix a little bit with the powder and it turns it into a liquid liner. It does that with almost any shadow they have. So I love that stuff. It's very similar to doing that. So I dampened my brush a little bit with some Fix Plus and then um, I dip it in here and it works. It works better. The thing is, is if, I, if I were to use a brush by itself with this, it's extremely dry and a little bit cakey. Kind of tugs on my eye when I apply it. Um, and I need about two layers to be more opaque. So I would use this for like every day, whatever kind of days where I'm not really too concerned about whether or not my liner lasts because I just don't care. Um, but for like work or for going out, I don't really recommend it. Um, it does have a good amount of wear on it. It's not my favorite cream liner. I prefer, I prefer my Wet n Wild um, gel cream liner in comparison to this one, to be honest with you. And they're about the same price, I think. Um, this one dried out a little faster on me though, so I don't really know. It kind of reminds me of the, like you can see it a little bit on the edge, kind of lifting. I don't know if you guys can tell, like on the edge a little bit, like right here, it's already um, lifting away from um, the the tube, the jar, whatever you want to call it. And it, I don't really like that. Yeah, I'm going to have to revive it somehow, but I, I make it work. I just kind of treat it like a cake liner. Um, but... Yeah, it's just really not my favorite. My favorite glitter liner these days is this one, and this is from NYX. And for some reason, it's called Lavender. I don't know why. It's called Lavender. You think I'm kidding. Um, I don't really know why. It's really not Lavender. Um, but I love it because it has teal glitters. It has blue glitters. It has purple glitters. I love this stuff. Um, I don't know if you can really see too much of it right there. This looks amazing on teal liner and blue liner. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen a couple of my makeup looks um, either as a face of the day that I recently posted a few weeks ago or on my blog somewhere. I love wearing this on blue liner or um, teal liner or blue or teal eyeshadow. Anything blue or purple. Like anything blue or bright purple, this looks amazing on. I love it. My favorite mascara at the moment. Well, not, fa not favorite. Okay. It's not my favorite, but it's my newest that I like. Um, I haven't decided how much I love it yet. So this one I just recently got, maybe, I don't know, two weeks ago. And this one's the Falsies Flared Mascara. Because I hear bad things about the black drama, and that's really the one that I wanted. Um, 
I like the wand of this one better than the falsies because um, it does curve but if you look at it it curves um, oh you can't really see um, it's flat I don't know if you guys can really tell but it's like flat and then the, the bristles are on this side and on this side and it's like it's like curved you know what I mean so it's curved in a better way where the bristles are here the, the for some reason my falsies ones it, it's curved but it's it's a little bit I don't know. It's the wand is something I don't really like, but I work with it. I find it to work because I like the formula of the Falsies waterproof a lot. Um, I really do like this one, but as far as flare goes, I really don't know. Um, I'm wearing it on my lashes right now. Ah! Well then, <laughs> okay. Um, it does make them stand out, and I do love them. It's really more of an everyday mascara for me. Like, it's really, oh my god, it's so bright out here. I can't do it. Um, it's really more of an everyday mascara to me. It's not something I would wear when I'm going out. I feel like the um, Maybelline Original Falsies Waterproof Formula is more black um, on my lashes, and it's a little bit more fuller. Um, this one is good. It's just not the best. Um, I don't think it's the better of all of them, but I still like it. Um, I still like the original formula better, though. So this is a little bit of a hype and a gripe for me. Blushes. My favorites of the moment are more corals and oranges. As you can tell, I'm a little bit into coral and orange this month. You'll you'll notice that when I explain my lip products to you in a little bit. Um, this is my... Hold on. I'm going to try to swatch it a little bit. Um, it, it has poke marks in it okay because I, I i use a stippling brush for this so it, it like makes poke marks all in it um this is my nyx cream blush in orange i think it's literally just called orange yeah um i don't know if you guys have seen a nyx haul like a massive nyx haul i did like a month or two ago but i love this shade it's very similar to optimistic orange um I think that was from Mac and Lily Land. I don't remember. But I love this one better because not only is it easier to blend, but it's a lot more opaque. Um, not that I need blush to be opaque or anything, but that just means the color payoff is better. Um, so I like it better because the color payoff is better and it lasts a lot longer. Um, the MAC one I like because of the color itself and it just looks really good on tan skin. It's more of a tanner orange. This one's more of a bright orange. And then paired with that, or paired with anything in general, this has been my favorite blush of the past, like, three weeks. I've literally worn this damn near every day. And this is um, Coralista. I bought this before, um, the same time that Max to the Beach, the mailman's here, um, the same time as Max to the Beach collection came out. Um, so I was kind of comparing it to Hipness, I think. And it's so incomparable. It's so not the same. Um, Hipness, for one, is more of a matte satin type finish. This has a shimmer to it. Um, I wish I could show you what it looks like, like me wearing it, but I can't. Um, I put a little bit here on my arm. Just kind of show you like a little bit of shimmer. Um, I love this stuff though. Coralista is one of my favorites. Um, on me, since I'm tanner, it comes on a lot more as a glowy blush. Um, it's glowy on a lot of other people because it has that soft gold peachy shimmer. Um, on more tan skin tones like myself, it looks amazing with bronzer. Um, especially that e.l.f. bronzer that I showed you as well as Laura Geller's Blush and Brighten and Honey Dipped. Um, so Ceylon from MAC, that mineralized skin finish. Um, Clinique Sunswept Bronzer. It works really good with a lot of bronzers. Um, if you wear it by itself, it just looks like a nice soft peachy glow. I use it every day like every freaking day um it has replaced bella bomba for me recently sorry bella lip stuff i'm gonna start with the lippy stick um my favorite lipstick at the moment from mac um i have two and this one is in kind of sexy i did a blog post about this one i adore this this is a matte finish and it is like a nude color very similar to um revlon's mauve it over but instead of being mauve it's more neutral I love this color. This literally makes your lips look like you rolled out of bed looking kind of sexy. Next favorite lipstick is Costa Chic. This is also from MAC. Um, so this one is Costa Chic. I adore this lip color. If you are into coral lipsticks, this is right up your alley. It is amazing. Um, I like wearing it with um, MAC's lip gloss in Strange Potion. Um, this first came out with the Venomous Villains collection, so that's the one that I have. And then it came out with another recent collection. Um, 
which I don't recall the name of at the moment <laughs> but it's a shimmery pink coral they look really well together when they're together um, I love using this as a nice coral soft coral lip. Um, the last lipstick is from Benepiet and this is a silky finish lipstick and this one's in Jingling I adore this it's a soft pinky nude um, um, just again with the whole neutral nude shades I love this one it can come off a little bit more pink on more rosy lips but if you're more on the neutral side but you just want a little bit of pink like we're talking you know Ferris nude but a little bit darker or even um, Max Hug Me which is a little more brown or um, Love Lorn you know colors like that Love Lorn from, is from MAC um, yeah same family so it's neutral, but it's pinkish, a little bit of rosiness, a little bit of neutralness, a little bit of brownish, you know what I'm saying? It's all in the same family sometimes. It just, it really depends on your lip color and what it looks like, you know, but I actually adore this one. I wear this a lot. And it has a silky finish, so the reason why I love it, I don't like hella talking while I'm doing this. But I love it because it just looks nice and natural. You know what I'm saying? Another favorite that I've been loving are these Kiss Acrylic kits. Um, I do my own acrylics. I don't remember the last time I, you know, went to the nail shop to do my own nail, like to get acrylics done. Like it's been a long time. I usually, I used to do my own a lot, a lot. Like I don't know why I never did a tutorial for it. I guess it's because I never had the right camera. Um, I can do it with this camera now because we've got detail going on here with this HD business. Um, so I can do a tutorial now for you guys. Um, anyways though, um, I love these Kiss Acrylic kits. Um, I have the original one, like it just says acrylic sculpture kit, and then I have the other one which is a complete salon kit, and then I have another one that's just French manicure kit. They're all different, um, but they all generally have the same stuff in it. Like it has, usually generally has the acrylic, acrylic uh, clear acrylic powder, which is this, comes with the brush, it also comes with the acrylic liquid, which by the way smells so strong. So if you guys ever purchase the complete salon kit from Kiss, I would definitely use that Apple Fresh thing that you can put in the in the acrylic liquid because it is dummy strong it is so much stronger they're trying to piss me off with this recycling stuff do you hear that do you hear that I'm just gonna wait for them to finish Okay, I think they're done now. <laughs> um, anyways, so yeah, um, the general acrylic kits usually come with, like if you were to get the basic one, it comes with the tips, um, and if you get the acrylic sculpture kit, I believe that's the one, um, that one comes with both white tips and the clear tips. Well, okay, natural tips, I wanna be clear, cause these come with clear tips, and is if you can tell, the clear tips are literally clear. Um, and then this one's the, the specific glitter kit. This one's kind of hard to find. I find it more at Walmart than anywhere else. I barely ever see it anyone el anywhere else. I haven't tried CVS. I haven't seen it at Walgreens. And I haven't seen it at Rite Aid. Um, favorite thing, like, non-makeup related thing is this cup. Um, I love my Starbucks cup. You guys know I'm a Starbucks addict, period. Okay, and I, I deserve one of these, okay. This, I think, was like 12 bucks. This is a small one, the Grande. I don't remember. 12 bucks? Something like that? Um, I think it's just wash safe. I don't really know. Comes with its own straw that's plastic. Um, it. I like that it comes like this. Like there's another thing inside. Um, I love that. Yes, I love this. I put water in it, juice, iced tea, coffee, everything. Um, everything, 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 everything. You cannot put hot coffee in here, okay? So don't be stupid. Um, but I love this stuff. Um, next, favorite coffee of the month. I'm gonna do that. Oh, I'm getting makeup on my white shirt. Um, favorite coffee of the month. I get coffee so damn often. It's like literally flavor of the week for me. Um, so I'm gonna break it down, okay? I'm gonna type it out to you what I've been ordering a lot this week, um, and this month in general. Um, lately... Um, well, not lately, but this is a favorite on my, you know, all-time Starbucks list anyways. Um, what I'm drinking as of right now, and it is an iced, um, soy chai with vanilla. So Hi, can I get a iced soy vanilla chai? Um, I've also been loving... Oh, okay. 
ice Americanos um, with white chocolate, sweetened. Um, depends where I get it from though. Starbucks, you don't need the sweetener. So if you get it from Starbucks, just ice them, ask them for an ice Americano with white chocolate. Um, I ask for a splash of soy milk or I just ask for room if I don't feel like soy milk. But I usually do like soy milk because it makes it sweeter already. Hi, can I get an uh, ice Americano with um, white chocolate and a splash of soy? Americano, just so you know, is basically espresso with water in it. So, um, I'll talk to you guys later.